Here we go. Iso on the wing. Attack middle. Pump fake. Pump fake. Fake pass. 360 twirly bird. Ooh wee. What up, Hoopers? Welcome back to another breakdown. Today we're going to be checking out the young star down in Orlando, Paolo Bancaro. I hope I'm saying his name right. I'm pretty sure I'm saying his name right. I've heard it said both ways, Bancaro, Benchero. But the point is, my man dropped 35 points last night. He's in his second year in the NBA. He's built like a brick, and he knows how to get buckets. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into this film and see where he got his 35 points from. Let's get right to it, man. Right here, first play, turn the defense into offense. We get the steal. We getting out on a transition break. Little finger roll layup. I was expecting a dunk from a big guy like that. You can see right here, he's got great hands, though. Tracking the ball. Following as soon as he puts that ball down. Bang. Take it right out of his hands. Good D. And what goes underrated right here, a lot of people probably didn't notice this or catch this, but if you're a hooper, you caught this. You see right here, he goes in front of the defender, he jumps in front of him, and what that does is the defender is now out of the play, essentially. If you're on a fast break, especially a one-on-one -on -one fast break, what you wanna do is you wanna find that defender, you wanna get in front of him. If you could put him on your back even better, that way they're permanently out of the play. But if you could get in front of them, so they're not running at you on an angle, then they can't recover. They can't get back in front of you. So that's a really smart, instinctual basketball play right there. Jump in front of the defense. He's out of the play now. Now we get to the rim, finish at the rim. Transition again, attacking, finish at the rim. That's pretty simple, pretty basic. But what I love personally about this is number zero didn't stay in space out at the three-point line. Now that Nowadays in 2023 on a fast break, everybody wants to, you know, just fan out to the three-point line. We don't even take layups in transition anymore. What has Steph Curry done in my game? But we see that we already got this guy, number 21, standing at the three-point line. So number zero, it's smart for him to cut to the basket. Even if you don't get it, it keeps the defense honest because they have to defend that, that, that basket on in transition. We don't need two or three people, you know, leaking out to the three-point line. We only need one, max. Everybody else, attack the basket. Great play. Great play. Now to you, you know, the casual fan might just see this as a simple, you know, catch and shoot three-pointer. Check out this screen right here. He sets this screen. Trey Young goes over, or he tries to go over. He bites on it. Pause. And what that does is Trey Young has to recover to his man, the big guy number one. He has to drop into the paint to get help coverage because as of now, 50's wide open. He's wide open in his paint, so somebody has to recover on him. Trey Young got caught on the screen, so defense is probably thinking he's going to stay here. This guy has to drop down to cover the paint so they don't get an easy layup right here. And you also got to watch the ball because he's getting a line drive to the paint as well. So this guy is really caught in a bad position. Trey Young is really up to him to communicate and to stay on his defender right here because if he does that, he doesn't get a wide open shot. They don't communicate, wide open three, knock it down. Here we go, ISO. Good pull up. I like this. I like this. Anybody that knows me, knows the channel, knows that I love a nice mid-range pull-up. Sizing the defense up, coming down, walking right into your spot, right here at the elbow. This is one of the easiest shots on the court, and I'm surprised more players don't take it, to be honest. The elbow jumper right here, free throw line extended, so easy. Simple, raise up, knock it down, it's an easy shot. I don't know why more players don't take this shot, but I love to see it when they do. You size them up, a little hezzy into the pull-up, that's the easy two points right there. Another one. Bang. Great play. I love it. Iso in the midi again. Plyo dribble to the side. Bang. Boom. Sidestep right to that elbow. All the space that you need over the defender. Raise up and knock it down. Catch up top, screen, defenses and drop coverage, they don't come up, bang. Now this shot, I'm not mad at this shot. This is a pretty good shot. You get the screen right here. As you're coming across it, 
defense fails to step up and be up on the shooter, probably because the game plan is to watch the roll guy and not get out of position for when he rolls, allow this guy some time to get back in front. But Paolo sees this as he's coming across and he sees all of this wide open space right here. Like I said, defense does not step up. So that's an easy shot. Just raise up and knock it down. We get this angle from it here coming across. Look at all of this space that he has. Nobody steps up. Capella, you should be up. But maybe the scouting report wasn't to be up on those shots. Sometimes we'll live with those shots to put it on a player. In this case, he knocks it down. Transition. Pump fake. Pull up. Love it. Love it. Coming down to transition. Catch right here. Now this, a lot of people would shoot this shot. You know, they got some space off of a handoff in transition. You know, nowadays, the, the earlier we can get a shot up, the better. He catches, gives him a pump fake. He falls for the pump fake, gets out of position. Now we attack. Look at his, look at his, uh, look at his legs. He has to switch up, open up those hips. We dribble right into our spot, pull up. He can't even really contest. Great hit. Way to knock it down. Here we go. Iso on the wing. Attack middle. Pump fake. Pump fake. Fake pass. 360 twirly bird. Ooh, wee. Ooh. I like that. I like how he's attacking the basket, getting two feet in the paint. He doesn't have the shot initially. Well, maybe he does, because he goes for the pump fake. Defender doesn't jump. So he could have just rose up over the top and shot it. Or I'm looking at the big guy down here, and he could have just dropped him a pass right over the top into my big man. He catches, finishes on the other side of the rim, but that didn't happen. Pump fake. He's got two wide open shooters out here. So I give him a fake pass. The defense has to respond to that. They have to react to that because of the fake pass. And when did he get into the paint? Boom, with 4.5 seconds. Boom, boom. Here he's got 2.5 seconds. You only get one more second before they call that deep, that offensive three seconds. So he makes a smart decision, raises up. Look at this angle. His hips are facing half court. Literally does a 180 in the air, raise up and put it over the top. Here we go, get the switch screen. Spin out, attack, pump fake, and one. That's what I love to see, baby. This is great basketball right here. Notice the screen. Nowadays in the NBA, on defense, when offenses set screens, we just switch them. Eight times out of 10, the defense is probably gonna switch a screen. And that's across the board for all teams. Cause you know, nobody thinks originally in the NBA anymore. So if I know as a defense, you're gonna switch all the screens, what I'm gonna do as an offense is I'm gonna hunt your weakest defender and I'm gonna set a screen on that guy and I'm gonna make him defend. Pretty similar to what LeBron James did to Stephen Curry in the 2016 finals. I'm gonna hunt you out. I'm gonna set a screen on you. You're gonna switch and now I have a mismatch. So here we have Paolo going Going out to get DeJounte Murray on the screen. He's know that he, he knows that he's a bigger guy. He's got more strength, more size to him. So he comes out, sets the screen, and then immediately dives down into the paint so they don't have a chance to switch back. I'm gonna make sure I get the mismatch that I want by setting the screen and then immediately walking you down into the paint. You can't leave. I got all this space right here to operate with. He just gotta throw that pass over the top. So you can't leave. You really gotta, as a defender, try to get right back into a good guarding position, even though you know that you don't really have a chance. You know, it's a mismatch. It's a mouse in the house. Comes down to the paint, gets the entry pass, immediately spins baseline, pump fake. You know, usually with smaller defenders, they know that they don't have a, a they, don't, they don't really stand a chance physically. They're not gonna body you up. So what they try to do is they try to meet you at the rim. They try to get the block. They're usually more jumpy. So if we know that, we use that to our advantage. We turn out, pump fake, he goes for it. Lean into him, get the finish, and one. This was a pretty close game. It went down into OT. Good shot, good move, good move. Iso right here, nice little spin move. Bang into the paint, two foot jump stop, boom fades away from the defense we're going away from the defense we want to get some space we want to create some separation 
give ourselves a chance to get the shot up and not get it blocked. Look at this angle that he jumps away from the defense. Put that right leg up like dirt. I love it. Such a tough shot. People don't understand how tough of a shot this is. Shout out Paolo, man, one of the best young players in the league. We see he's doing his thing down in Orlando. He got Orlando the best record that they've had in the last decade right now, especially this early on in the season. We have yet to see if they're contenders or pretenders, though. The jury's out. What do you guys think? Are the Orlando Magic contenders or pretenders? Will they fall off and be in a play-in tournament, possibly out of the playoffs come March, April? Or will they still be a top five seed? We have yet to see. Until next time, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to see basketball-wise. And uh, we out.